This is a horror game podcast. It is meant for mature audiences. It may contain shocking revelations, violence, and sexual themes. Viewer discretion is advised. Greetings, fellow investigators, and welcome to our video podcast, Into the Darkness, where my friends and I play the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. I'm your host, Tom Rayleigh. The scenario is entitled The Great Innsmouth Caper. It was written by Nathan Decker, who is also our keeper of arcane lore, and this is a one-shot. So without any further delay, let's begin our journey into the darkness. Nathan? Thank you, Tom. It's a late fall trip for the society investigating occult and odd paranormal situations of which you are all members. Bart Ferguson has chartered a bus with a strange looking bus driver named Joe, and he's taking you up the coast to Ipswich to look at various mollusks, clams, clam related activities. It's horribly dull, but you're getting course credit or extra pay, depending on if you're a student or professor of some fashion. But like many things Bart tries to do, it fails about halfway through as you are stuck overnight in a crummy town by the name of Innsmouth. The bus has broken down and Joe assures you that it's okay. The morning by morning, No problem, we'll have the bus up and running. We're going to keep going. Bart stays there to keep him company and offer assistance. You kind of wonder that it might take a little longer with Bart there, but it's better than having him with you. During the course of your breakdown, you did notice an inn that you could stay at over the night. It didn't have a sign in front of it, just had this mermaid with a dark expression over its face but you found a table and even though no one really seems to want to talk with you with their two big eyes and two sharp teeth you found a sort of camaraderie with yourselves at least and the night is getting late the fire is crackling you're all nursing drinks let's meet our investigators uh why don't we start with leon I'm a Leon Squamish, my mathematics student, uh, and uh, I'm pretty nervous being here. Uh, most of my life, people have joked at me because I'm not very good looking, saying that I have the Innsmouth look. And now that I look around, I see what they're talking about. Cheers. They could be related, maybe. Uh, how about oh, no, Richard? I, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Richard. Uh, Hello. My name is Richard Wiggins. I am a psychology student up and coming at Miskatonic. And, uh, well, I like to travel along with these fine folk in this club. It's very interesting getting to look inside the minds of those who see mysteries and strange and unknown. And... Well, I definitely think there's something strange about Innsmouth. That is for sure. Yeah, you're pretty sure the bartender's dripping something into a drink. He wipes it out, but it smears. Jonah. I'm Jonah. I'm a very tired TA that works under Dr. Armitage. And I've always heard stories of Innsmouth. So right now I'm nursing a late night tea darting my eyes darting around and jonah you notice as you're there you're not the only tired person the bartender it looks like his wife is cleaning up maybe it's a husband wife team you think they both look exhausted so maybe there's a a sort of slow acceptance of that between you well i doubt armitage is working them to the bone indeed I just need to graduate 
That's it. <laughs> the classic TA cry. Uh, Diana. And Diana Abernathy, um, grad student in archaeology. Uh, quite honestly, she feels no passion whatsoever for mollusks. And this is just a little bit of extra money in her pocket for research and trips. So um, she's really just tired, not wanting, ready for this whole trip to be done. Um, and that, yeah, just sitting. I don't, I'm not really taking any um uh heed of any warnings or anything she's heard of end smith just like mm, i'm ready to be home mm -hmm. and your drink uh what are you drinking diana um just like a like a club soda honestly i'm not even having an alcoholic beverage yeah you got the club soda and you see underneath it there's a small napkin the others didn't get this mm -hmm. but it's got the initials DRL on it. It's smudged and kind of honestly, this is not the first go around for the napkin, but uh, <laughs> Fair. you see that there. And we'll finish off with Lauren. Hi, hello. I'm Lauren Ipsum. Um, I'm a librarian at Miskatonic University. And um, I think that the mildew in here is real. <laughs> is really aggravating my allergies and but i'm i'm here as part of the group um because my mom said that i need to get out and socialize more and dr armitage said that if i wanted access to the restricted section then i should do some more contributions around the university so i'm here i guess learning about mollusks or something i was expecting something a little more exciting <laughs> And as Lauren makes that last noise, choking back a little something, it's like there's a stereo as the bartender comes up behind the five of you and just kind of there's a little bit of drool coming out of his mouth as he tiredly goes, y'all should be getting up to bed soon. We're going to be locking the doors for the night. Do we have rooms here at the... We got the one party? room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this inn, it's a two-room, or two-room, <laughs> a two-story affair. And mm -hmm. there's a room, and there's more that would be there if it wasn't half-collapsed. In fact, this building, you're pretty sure it'll stay up through the night, but you're not 100% sure. You do have a good view over the bay, though, which is nice. It takes away from the rotting floors, the mildew on the wall, and the fact that there's definitely parts missing from some of the beds. There's like the slats are broken where you just have no support. Right. Then um, I guess I'll finish up grading these students' papers and make my way to the bedroom. It's just right. for one night, right? <laughs> it's just one deal. bedroom. It is. Can we just sleep on the bus? I left my books in there, so I can just... Mm. And he looms up behind you. Uh -huh. Wouldn't recommend it. Okay. The bus is no place to, to sleep, Lauren. No. Uh, I mean, okay. a, a single bedroom with probably one bed isn't much better, honestly. We're all going to be on the floor. No, we have multiple beds. We got them from the other rooms. Oh, well, thank you. That's very kind. Mr. Marsh. Okay. Have a good I think rest. That's a fine idea, Jonah. I think I will be retiring for the evening as well. I'll uh, finish the rest of my hot water because tea is too spicy and <laughs> follow the rest of the group up. So uh, how are we going to work this out? You're going to need some privacy, aren't you, Diana? Should we It'll hang a fine. sheet up? I, I'm unconcerned. I, I'm not even getting out of my clothes in this place. I'm just going to bed and hopefully in the morning we can all go home. Probably a good exactly. idea. Exactly. I'll whack the mattress a couple of times to get the bugs out. Uh, and they absolutely skitter out across the floor. Uh, in the, be 
you hit one dead center. Uh, the moonlight coming in through the window is very bright and the curtains that they have are barely any use. This is, it's horrible. Truly horrible. Well, it may be rotten, <laughs> dank, and literally falling apart from the inside out, but at least we're not hearing about any more mollusks. It's just one night. I'll drink to that. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there were mollusks living under the bed. Um, Do you look? Well, you know snails are mollusks, too. Uh, I don't know about you, but I can't see how they could possibly keep this place afloat. How do you run a business with rooms like this? I suppose if they own the building, then they don't have a lot of upkeep. No, they need Clearly. to fix it up. They don't <laughs> Clearly there is no upkeep. <laughs> Probably the most customers they've had in the last 20 years. At least for the rooms, anyway. It's one night. It's okay. one night. I can do this. One night. And yeah, one night, you and we're back on the road. Yeah, that's that's it. One night. One night. And you're falling asleep in these beds from one night. And you hear this thump 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 from low on the door. Thump 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 thump. The door? Leon, would you get that? <laughs> Fabio, I'll feed you in the morning. Dump, 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 dump. Well, for heaven's sake. No, Hold it. Okay, I'll I'm, get it. I'm getting it. I'll get the door. Jeez. What on Jeez earth? Please. And Diana, you get up. It's The moonlight is still coming through the window brightly. And you unlock the door. You creak it open. And... There is a blur of movement as ah, runs past you into the middle of the room. Quickly, hide me! They're after me again! Oh, uh, Professor Dickleby, what are you doing here? You weren't even on uh, this trip. I no time to explain! Quickly. Yeah, No time what? to explain! What? Professor Dickleby's here! Shut up! What? what? Oh. Jesus Christ! Don't what? worry, it's just oh. Professor Diggleby. Leon, you've never met Professor Diggleby, have you? I suppose. Ah. I thought you'd mentioned He's... him before. I thought you must have met met him already. I uh I I found references to him in a math book, but he's, oh. he's a he's a puppet. He's more than that, Leon. And he's like running around looking under the beds, uh kind of scampering hither and yon of I need a space. Okay, a space. I'll, I'll open, open the curtain. The curtain. I'll open yeah. my single overnight bag and dump out like five or six books and just say, "In here." And you plop him in as there is a louder thum 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 on the door. Nobody help. Wait. I will go answer the door like a crack. Excuse me, it's the middle of the night. Can I help you? Yes. Hello. It is, uh, I'm sorry for keeping you awake so late at night. Uh, may we come in? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. It's, as you said, the middle of the night, we're all trying to get some sleep, and I just shut the door in its face. Ah! And you hear, like, this is a small alligator person. He's about maybe three feet tall. He's kind of long with a tail. And you got the impression that there's two large people behind him, all muscle and anger. And again, you hear this wham, 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 wham. Yeah, I'm going to open up Lauren's bag. What did you do? What did you do? There are the, the people out there. What did you do? Oh, come back in the morning. Nothing yet. No, no, don't. You, you have to stay undercover. It's like we talked about. We're infiltrating. Phase two will be a go. And then he shuts the briefcase on himself again. I'm assuming none of us know what phase two is. None of, no, okay. not even a clue. Never it comes it. after phase one. Thank you, Lauren. Mm -hmm. uh, Wait, well. Leon, Richard, Jonah, maybe you can make them go away. They obviously don't listen to me. We're, we're right. not letting you in. Go away. We, we have ladies undressing in here. We're not decent. Please. Lauren, shut away. up. <laughs> it, 
It's I'm sorry, but I must come in. You see, I am the hotel detective. And I believe we have a case of someone breaking the rules. What well, what what rules? And let me explain the rules, please. Yes. And you see this little snout slides under the door. Like there's there's enough of a gap there, and you just see it kind of bouncing up and down. The mustache is wiggling a little bit. Rule number one, no running near the pools. Rule number two, check out by 11 a.m. Number three, no musical numbers. And number four, absolutely no Diggleby. Well, we are not in violation of any of what's, those rules, What's sir. a Diggleby? I didn't even start singing. Good. Don't. A Diggleby. Ugh. A monster. Terrible. A thief. Do not trust the Diggleby, and do not bring one into your home. We'll be sure to let you know if we ever see this Diggleby, okay? Just let us go to bed. It's been a oh. long day. What are you talking about? It is morning. I look no, out the window. No, we just got here. Uh, it... it. I mean, the moon's up. It still seems like night, but as you're looking out, before you had a view of the docks, which are kind of a, a ragtag sort of affair, some have caved in, and a street, and that's about it. Now when you look out, you don't necessarily have the words to describe it in 1920, but today we'd call it a water park as you see planks leading up to rickety staircases to water slides. There looks like there's a lazy river kind of set into the street and there are numerous little fish people running around mixed in with these huge hulking people that kind of look like the marsh uh fellas they all have a very fishy look they look a little like leon really well i must oh say. what's the what's the time detective time to get to watch <laughs> but seriously you should go and enjoy maybe we will but we just got here we're tired we need to go to bed see you later well, obviously alligator. it's 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 morning oh. i suppose it's time to check out Yes, that is true. We don't want to break the, I believe, third yes. rule it was. Uh, rule yes. number two. It's number two. Ah, yes, number two. Number three is no musical numbers. Right. Absolutely. You no, have our no music. No Diggleby. Check out by 11. Yes. And no Ooh. running by the pool. Wait a second. You are part of the family, yes? Which one? What there family? are many families. None of us if, are family. If I were to say, ah, I love living in the desert, or I love living in the ocean, which would you agree with? Oh, I hate the deserts. They're so sweaty. Good answer. Good answer. And the uh, the nose pulls out from under the door. And you, you hear this loud kind of, it seems like two big folks and then a little, like, little pitter-patter with a tail sweeping behind it. I'm going to get down on my hands and knees and lean th- and get all the way down so that I can see under the door to make sure they're going away. Yeah. When you look, there is a crocodile, or an alligator, I'm sorry, looking through the window. I'll be watching you very closely. I'm going to throw a bed sheet towards the uh, bottom of the door. (laughs) You probably hit Leon a little bit. It's okay. Hey, Leon, stuff up that uh, part with the door and the floor. Oh, my God, I'm so tired. Can we just get (laughs) out of here? That's my question. Yeah, does that mean like we, we can s- leave now? I'm I'm with Diana. Well, no, not until you know who explains what's going on. Yes, usually when things like this happen, it means uh, we need to help the professor with something or other. They've left Professor 
Can you come out now you, and explain? You guys have all seen him before? I thought everyone in the society had at least one. I mean, I'm an archaeology student. He's one of my professors. He has many overdue books, yes. He's one of Dr. Armitage's friends. He saved me from the jaws of death. It takes some getting used to, Leon. I will definitely concede that, but eventually you'll see that Professor Diggleby is like any of our other professors. Not like any of all my professors. I'm, or in you fact, said it, Lauren, much better than most of our professors. And you're hearing this like grunting sound from the luggage. Professor, you can come out now. Uh, can you explain everything. Please? Oh God! Yes, one second. Let me take off my disguise. Yes, I'm it is me, recognize you. Professor Diggleby. I was disguised as an American girl. Very clever. Hmm. Yeah, anyways. Never would have seen it coming. Now that you've thrown off the trail for the moment, it's time to begin phase two. Do you have right. the maps? Um, no. I checked my bags for the maps. There's definitely no maps there. Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to introduce a scenario specific mechanism. One second. Flashback! And the five of you need to roll sanity. Because you are no longer in a room. 97. That's a hotel room. You are all, yeah, you're in a warehouse. You have, it looks like meatball sandwiches laid out on a side table. You're all wearing turtlenecks and little black beanie caps. It's only a one on failure. And there is a small model of what looks to be the inn that you are in at the very moment, uh, but in better times. And in fact, you can see there is a small sign uh, there on this little diorama named the Devil's Reef Lodge. And Diggleby, not dressed as you all are, says, ah, Excellent! The flashback worked where we discussed phase two of the operation. What's happening? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Go on, Professor. See? Richard gets it. It's a flashback. You can accomplish a flashback at any time, though I will tell you, trying to change too much could be dangerous to your sanity. Does that mean all those papers I graded are now... Come on. So is this happening now, or back then and I didn't have any knowledge of it which means now we're gonna don't be ridiculous it's a flashback don't even get me started about montages we don't have time we need a mm. 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 It, it did happen we are learning about it again right. so we can proceed as normal alright okay great now that we're all here and in the present past present let's talk about where I were here at the devil's reef lodge at Water Park. We're here to mm, 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 liberate an artifact of great power from uh, a Mr. Dagon. You see, he's secured this artifact within his room, close to where you're staying. Uh, if we can look at the diagram, you'll see. And he trots over to this little little diagram on the table whips up the top and you can see it shows a second story of the hotel you are in. But it uh, shows a few more rooms than you remember. And one in particular, it's a corner one, looks a little nicer than the others, and it's facing out into the water park, much like your room. And he points at the room. There's a few obstacles. The room is locked. Now, I'm sure the five of you can come up with something. There's possibly a key. It's with Mr. Dagon. Mm. He's probably in the lazy river. Obstacle two. And he pulls up a little, uh, like a little figure. It looks like a little puppy dog, like maybe an eraser or something. And he sets it down. Obstacle two. 
little guppy. It's a guard dog of mighty power. It sits in the room. It will protect it. We must figure out a way around it. Mm. And obstacle three. And he reaches under the end table, like the little bottle end table. It might be from like a doll set. You're not quite sure. The safe. The safe is guarded by clues, which I'm hoping we'll have a guide to because I don't know the combination at all. Mm. But we can get the artifact and make our escape with Olmstead here at the docks. <laughs> and he kind of tromps over and shows you there's a little boat on the docks. Is it puppet size little? Mm. No, it's made for your size. Oh, excellent. Ah, very good. So you know what happened last time. That was embarrassing. Yes. Tragic. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you at least survived. Whenever I close my eyes, I still see them. I don't. I don't even remember who they are. It's just the, it was just a Tuesday for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they blur together after a while. The interns, the grad students, the podcasters. Uh, right, we've got we've got staff. three grad what? students in this group. Uh oh. He actually like legitimately backs away from you a little bit at that point. Oh no. Well, if if this is just like the Peruvian blood diamond mines, we should get out and in with no problem. Correct. And perhaps not so many casualties. Hopefully, one can hope. Casualties. Mm. Hmm. You've gone on adventures with him before? Yes, Listen, Leon, Leon, you Leon. keep on pace. <laughs> You'll learn very quickly that this is how things operate when Professor Dickleby's involved. Welcome to the crew. Oh, And now lean over to Leon and whisper, watch your back. It never goes well when Dickleby's involved. <laughs> Here, Leon, to calm your nerves, have a meatball sandwich from the past. And I kind of... I think I already ate something that's that's not agreeing with me very well. (laughs) Well, you haven't eaten anything now. We're in the past. Here. Yes. Eat up, Leon. (laughs) Eat up. Eat up. Eat up. Eat up. And you are back in the hotel room once more. Mm. Ah, We're back. What's a, I don't even have disguise. a beanie. Where did we get those clothes from? <laughs> ah, oh, you're still wearing them. Uh, that's odd. They should have stuck through. Ah! Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for some reason, Lauren's now wearing a beanie and a turtleneck. I quickly pull don't. a cardigan <laughs> on over my turtleneck to feel safe. Mm, looks like you did the flashback wrong. I don't know how. Good luck. So... Mm. The locked room, Mr. Hmm. Dagon's room, that's like right there. Yes. And he has a guard dog and there's a safe. Yes. And I think we can get by the guard dog with some snacks that we can probably get at the water park. Hmm. Mm. Yes. There's also the continental breakfast. Yeah, but those are those are always disappointing. Truly. Somebody but if they the act bacon. as a, an effective distraction, then that's all that matters. I'm not here to cater to some guard dog's whims, Jonah. I just want to get the bacon and go. Unless oh, there's, that there's no bacon. There's no bacon at nice. Continental Breakfast. It's all like fruit. Some, some prof- uh, guest ate all of it. Mm, is that so? Was it good at least? Yes. Uh, maybe. <laughs> well, it seems our next stop will be the water park to get the key and a distraction for the guard dog. What? Shall I accompany you or should I stay incognito? How much is admission to this uh, water park? That's true. Uh, We might not have enough money. You're already here. You're you're fine. It's like a resort. Covered in the cot. The lodging. Comes with the room. That makes sense. But remember, 
You have to fit in. Mm. If suspicion gets too high, you'll be kicked out. Or worse. And how does one fit in? Look Baby fishy. suits? Oh yeah, that'd okay. be good too. Leon's doing a very good job of it now. Perhaps we should lead by his example. Mm -hmm. Well done, Leon. So we should just act confused and befuddled. I can that's, do that. That's the, uh, the ex that's the disguise. Very well. Works Ignorance for me. is bliss. I got a hat. You look like the perfect American girl. Thank mm. you. I think it's Molly or Megan, an M1. Anywho. To the water park. Good luck. To the gift shop. To the gift shop. So, you exit the room, and you do find that it's as crummy as when you went in, but it's actually not as fallen in as it was before. You see that the downstairs now has a full-on lobby with a fountain, a circular fountain that's sputtering water. It looks pretty gross. Uh, it looks like there's a weird, like, uh, standee next to it with a circle cut out. Weird. There's a room off to the side that has strange lights flashing out of it. Which you're not familiar with. Uh, it seems to be making a strange musical noise. Uh, not quite sure. But... There is a small continental breakfast as you see a small gift shop as well uh, leading out towards the water park. Well, I suppose it's uh, time to pick up shorts and bathing suits. Yes. And perhaps that room over there will be a good distraction from the detective. It Leon, this is our only way on back home. So I I'd advise that we all play along. What do you mean play along? When the professor has one of these adventures planned, you always just help out the professor. Yes. Exactly. So, Leon, let's help the professor. I throw him yeah. a pair of swimming shorts. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. How do you know my size? Um, yeah. <laughs> I have a good eye. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm a swimmer at Miskatonic, but um, I'm going to eat a banana. Hey, man, the bananas aren't Jesus free. Christ. We have a room. Why are, is that not included? Why is the continental breakfast not included with that? Oh, your guess. In that case, you won't mind eating these worms. And it holds out a flipper with a couple of worms on it. Not Unless at all, your sir. Not the really scream fish. that Lauren lets out, I will not subject <laughs> you to on this recording. It is enough to wake the neighbors. <laughs> she's, she's allergic to worms. Yes, I've already eaten. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get there. They make my allergies <clears throat> so bad. Uh, here, here, um, here, Lauren, Lauren, step, step, step back for a moment. If, I... if we must prove that we are guests here, I'd be yeah. more than happy to indulge. And I'll just grab a worm and... Alright, uh, make a make a sanity roll. It's very small. Mm. As the fish starts doing like a... All good. <laughs> Alright, I guess you are a fish. Take some trunks. Take a banana. The Thank gift you, shop sir. is yours. Nice to meet you, Marlin. <laughs> but yeah, you can absolutely grab some uh, some decorative towels, some shorts. They all have mollusks on them. That's like the motif. It's not hearts. It's uh, mollusk shorts. Yeah. <sighs> of course, Bart infiltrates the mission as always. But heading out into the water park proper. You do see that kind of close to it, there is the lazy river. Uh, further away, there are the actual slides. And you do see, like, these are populated. There's quite a bit of movement around the slides. In particular, the extra tall one that uh, 
it doesn't seem like it should stand. It's creaking very ominously. And in the lazy river, you see there is a giant, probably about double the size of your largest person in the group, shark man with a huge mustache and a stripe of sunscreen down the nose. And he's just floating by on a little duck float and snoring. And you can't help but notice around his neck, there is a keychain and a key. It's a, it's oh. a shark. Um, that must be Mr. Dagon. It's the weirdest dream I've ever had. I swear well, to God. You're the best swimmer just... out of all of us, so I think you should yeah. swim up. Mm. Just swim out there and I can get, take get the, key. the key somehow. Yeah, swim out there, mingle about, wait for the perfect opportunity to strike, and then snatch the key. You, you'll, you'll blend in perfectly. You look like half these people. All right. All right. And oh, the other half okay. are fish. I'm going to see if they have any mixed drinks. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah. You see a uh, a waiter walk by. Oh, yes. Here's your mixed drink, sir. And he hands you a drink that uh, squirms a little more than you probably would want it to. I don't like that. What? No one's complained before. I I think Richard kind of nudges Jonah in the back like, come on. Yes, you love these mixed drinks, right? We come here every yes. year. Take a sip. Just for them. It's strange you don't like the drink. So I'll I'll do the thing where I'm go I'm just gonna down it in one go, except I'm just gonna throw it over my shoulder. Okay, make a uh, make a stealth or yeah. a, so a, I'll do some a stealth. sort of check. Yeah, I'm not drinking this. Forty on the dot on forty. Nice. Oh. Yeah, it splashes on the ground, but he's kind of eyeballing you too closely. That it's was like great. Way up there. Well, no suspicion has been raised. Good day. Thank you, sir. I'll we'll hand him back the glass. Okay, note All to right, self. So don't you. ask for any amenities. Don't ask here. for food or drink at this point. So the shark is floating on mm -hmm. an inner tube? Yeah. yeah. Like a big inner tube? How bizarre. It's a very All large right, inner tube. Yeah. All right. Here goes. I will just run. It is. It's like a lazy river. So no running. Well, just, he's he's already no running. Past, running. So he can just wait. He and he'll, he'll be back around in a bit. Yeah. No, but I can catch him. Hey, no running. That defeats the purpose no of the lazy river. All right. So I don't. I go. Up these to lifeguards the edge, have I, like whistles. Yeah, they do. I dive in. No diving head first. It's not on the wall, but you know, come on. I'm already. But, yeah, splash. Yeah. Very yeah. little splash. It's almost as if I know how to swim like a fish. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of weird. You're really at home, like a like a something to water as you uh cut through it, but you do kind of get up close and it's it's gonna be tough to to get to this key. Uh, he's asleep, but you don't really want to wake him unless you do. Uh. Uh, I'm going to, is he going, uh, feet first or head first down the river? Uh, he's doing like that slow spin. So like slow right now spin. he's head first. Yeah. But he's, uh, just sawing logs and every once is, in a while is, you'll, you'll hear this like, damn you, Jiggleby. And is the, the water deep? Uh, not a uh, lazy river. So what? Four or five feet. You could stand up in it pretty easily. So if I, any, but if any... I, go ahead. If I stood up in it, would I be able to reach his neck? Yeah, you think you might be. Yeah, you you'd be like kind of messing around up here, but you could do it. Is there a latch on the chain? Uh, like a necklace. Do a luck roll. Uh, no, 84. It's just a chain. 
Yeah, there is. Well, there's like a. Yeah, it's just a chain. It's just over there, and you can see the key is uh, firmly fastened on there. A nice metal key. All right. So if I try to reach towards his front where the key is, and then give it a fling. So I'm flinging it like this. Will it go up and over his head and fall off into the water? Yeah, probably. If you want to try doing that sneakily, I'd, I'd accept a stealth try, roll. Oh, my stealth is only 20. Ugh. Nah, 62. Uh, if I do that and it doesn't yeah. work, then I'm going to dive under the water in case well, he wakes up. The worst part is... It does work. You knock it off his neck. You hear this like clank splash, but there's a as the shark starts to thrash around in the water and uh, just start chomping wildly like he just woke up from a terrible dream. The inner tube goes wild and just pops. Uh, Make a dodge check. Uh, just uh, like just like Samantha in the Diamond Mines. 64. I no, miss her. Nowhere near. Mm. Uh-huh. She was a good one. She was. I'm going to try and swim <laughs> with the current. Anyone want to take any bets uh, on whether Leon will make it? Uh, take a, I'll yeah, take Leon, way. you get actually picked up in a mouth and you feel the little bristles uh, tug your side as you are thrown down the river and it is now stained a bit red with blood as you take four points of damage. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's still kind of drifting and just going, Aah! Oh, watch out for the frenzy. I'm in not a frenzy. Good, it's not looking good. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to try to roll out of the water up onto the edge. Oh yeah. Uh, we got to help him. Crazy. Uh, I'm yes, going to suppose we do actually go where the can bar. the key go? <laughs> Can the, is the key still on the bottom or did I grab it? Yeah, it's uh, it's on the bottom. But at this point, the frenzy is like slowly moving down the lazy river. Dolly! If I miss you, Dolly! Frenzy! We need to get that, we need well, to get if, that key before he circles well, back around. Yes, um, if, somebody, if somebody dives in very fast, uh, they should. I push there. Richard in at oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, make a uh, spot hidden. As you're uh, right. now in this, well, the the blood's going the other way. You're you're fine, probably. Uh, forty one under fifty. That's a success. All right. Yeah. You you see the key and you're able to grab it as you hear this, dump 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 dump, uh, kind of behind you. Uh, I'm, I'm just... gonna get some mixed drinks from Mister Dagon <laughs> to calm him down. Oh, well, thank you. You're uh, welcome. Yeah, and Richard, you are luckily, uh, you you escape as Jonah. You are face to face with the shark. I'm sorry, I'm not the same until I've had my mixed drink. That's okay. Ah, it's Me quite too. all right, sir. Happens to everyone. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't notice it for some reason. What you're missing, my good man, is another mixed drink. Ah! Just down the gullet. Absolutely. Oh, glass and all. Yeah, glass <laughs> and all. Just gone. Hmm. All right, you seem like good enough chaps. Good day. Good day to you. And you too. Hey, someone took my my ducky. Where's ah. my ducky? And you, you leave him as you he's looking for his ducky. Good, quick thinking, Lauren. If you hadn't done that, we might have lost the key for good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Le- Leon is actively bleeding out from <laughs> some shark. I imagine I'm Leon hobbles up behind us. Has Leon I've, washed I've, the shore? I, I kind of <laughs> rolled into the bushes. He's gonna well, are you still alive, blood. then? Oh, damn. I Where should I owe you? For my payment, Diana. See, I thought I saw that fighting spirit in him. I'm uh, I'm gonna get back and start walking back to the inn. Okay. 
Do you Fuck see you enough? all. <laughs> <laughs> They, they they might have a first aid kit in there, but it's probably going to be gross and weird. So Check no um, continental breakfast. Usually no the birdies in the kids. pool. <laughs> you should check the continental breakfasts. Sometimes the pancakes dry out so fast they're practically like medical gauze. Well, All I right, suppose so- we should follow him. Mm. Uh, not until we pick up some snacks for this guard dog. Yes. Right. Uh, is there like fried squid or whatever? Because you know this dog's gonna be messed up in some way or the other. <laughs> right, squid. No, I, I never. The voice behind you says, "You're telling me a shrimp fried this rice?" <laughs> oh, you, you, you want his rice? Yes, we can. Yes. We can get you shrimp fried rice. Oh, okay. I'll take that. Oh, then. Perfect. Thank you. Chef specialty. Right. And he, uh, he comes back with about that much in a bowl of rice. I don't think this would be enough to satiate say satiate the guard. Do you have any more? Oh. Yeah, more. You have to make sure your guests are happy. Uh, no one's ever asked for more before. I well, I'm hungry. hungry. I, I believe I what he like meant some. to say was perhaps maybe we could try your um, chef's specialty platter. Or, oh, um, oh, yes. Do you like have a fish man's special? Of course. We'll How about a serving for each of us then, if that's yes, okay? we'll take five of those. And do you want the go shrimp to help. cook those too? Yes, please. Very good. The fish man's platter. Or, uh, I'll go have tend to bang. Leon. Someone should probably make sure he's okay. Who? Oh, okay. Leon. <laughs> yeah, let's cut back to Leon. Leon, what are you looking for as Diana catches up with you? I'm looking for a way out of this fucking dream. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been injured. I'm bleeding. Everybody was worried about the fucking key. Yeah. Uh, I'm just like really pissed off at everyone right now. Well, you open the front door to the inn because you could just walk out of here, maybe go meet up with Joe and leave and uh, roll a sanity as you are now kind of a step away of this cobble street road. And then it just kind of falls off into endless ocean. And there's, definitely something in the water far out there but it hurts to look at so you probably don't want to got a 66 out of 64 so i could spend two points but why not just go with the insanity yeah take a d4 this is mostly from helplessness as you realize there's no easy way out from here although diggleby did mention a boat I think I'm just going to go back up to the room and just sit on the floor. Wait, we don't have the rooms anymore, do we? We checked out. Um, I'll just sit. I don't think think we checked out quite yet. We kind of just left to go to the water park. It's not 11 o'clock yet. We're still good. I'll go go sit where the continental breakfast is and eat another, a very strange looking green fruit called a kiwi that I've never heard of. (laughs) They're mushy and they have a lot of fur on them, but but kind of strawberry like. Huh? Yeah, it's it's an interesting flavor for it. Yeah. So Diana, you will you will meet up with Leon, making use of the fruits, I guess. Oh, Leon, there you are. Look, you're bleeding everywhere. Here, let me tend to that. Mm-hmm. What are you going to tend to me? Tend to it with a fish. No, we, I I keep a field kit with me always. I have a little bit of, you know, rubbing alcohol, a bandage. You'll be all right. going to need a little more than just some band-aids, but whatever. Lots of success, so you can at least heal nice. one. Yeah, one. yeah you, you can wrap up the shark bites. I thought you had, I thought you had, I think we had all thought you'd worked with Professor Diggleby before, Leon. I'm assuming this was quite the introduction no 
I, I, my parents used to tell me weird stories. I thought they were just nonsense. But then I ran across stuff in an old math book. You know, when you, you buy, you don't buy a brand new book, you buy a, a used book. And it's all this stuff about puppet people and alternate universes and gateways to other worlds and suggesting that some of them were at Miskatonic. I always thought that it was just silly, but holy crap and you guys have seen him before yes it's i was a TA for him one semester it's a lot to take in <laughs> it's a lot to take in i mean <laughs> does he have internal organs or are they all just yarn i will tell you this it is best for your own sanity to not think on it too much and just and accept where it for are what it we is. That I don't know, but we have the only way forward seems to be getting on that boat. And I, for one, don't okay. want to stick around here. Well, most of the bleeding has stopped. You've lasted yeah. twice as long as most of the TAs that come through that, here. So that doesn't the make that. me. That doesn't make me feel good. <laughs> I suppose what you're saying is I should just go with it. Yes. And, all right. And with all that right, let's get cheery, back yeah, that little cheery bit of uplifting, uh, Richard, Jonah, and Lauren, you are greeted. The uh, the fish comes back with a large serving platter, and it turns and it hands it to you. And there are three small, tiny meals, uh, laid out there, each about yay big. The oh, shrimp. they're shrimp sized. Of course, you said the same chef. Well, this is absolutely perfect. Thank you, my good man. Enjoy. Mm. All right, we'll take this to go. Let me bag it up for you. Then he takes out a tiny bag and slowly puts them in tiny to go containers. And now you have. Little little bag, yeah, yeah, exactly. Bitty, so bitty you got a little bitty bit, a little bit of food. Uh, a few bites. Glad you didn't ask for, well, didn't ask for a whale of a, of a sandwich or something. Oh, is the is the whale in today for? Oh, well, of course. Oh. Uh, did you bring any digestive aids? There's some at the gift Probably. shop, yeah. Of course. Then can we have a whale platter? Actually, I know the perfect way to end this little feast. Not another platter. What about a whale-sized cake? Yes, I believe that would work. Of course. Thank you. Oh, service is which kind of whale. And you get the impression that's probably going to take a little bit of time. So what are you doing as you're waiting for this? Because you're kind of realizing you stand out a bit amongst this crowd. Faces are starting to turn in your direction. I think we, Leon and I have probably rejoined the group at this point. Yeah. Well, we'll probably be waiting on that for a good minute. Uh, perhaps we can enjoy some of the slides while we wait. Yes, can Hello, we Mr. Help you? Detective. Oh, hello. I'm watching you. I never got your name, Detective. You can call me Albert. Albert, okay. And these are my bodyguards. And he's got a couple of just giant fishmen behind him. Well, I have to say, we're really impressed with the uh, theme park. Mm, of course. Oh! Brutus! Brutus! Sorry, sir. Much better. Uh, you'll notice oh. both of them seem to move. You think both of them may be named Brutus. Hey, while we're at it, what school did you go to? Uh... We go to Harvard. That's not a fishy answer. Miskatonic? 
watching. No, you no, know, no, no. I, I think he fishy. meant to say Minnow University. You know the one? Yes, Minnow. Oh, That's from it. Minneapolis? I've been part of a school my whole life. Like like a, like a school he, of fish? He looks, he looks around and nods when Lauren says something. Whenever you make a dumb fish pun, the the alligator's just like, hmm, mm. Yeah. I'll I'll have Good you know answer. that I was uh, I was a, a foreign exchange student at Finland University. Ah, yes, very fishy. Good, good. But I'm still watching you. I've never heard of Harvard. I'm watching you. Not what far from Cape is... Cod. Not bad. <laughs> 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 and he. Uh, he uh, disappears into the bushes, but the goons just kind of stand there looking at each other before they, they head up. Uh, I, you, I believe you feel like suspicion. Way, Thanks, boss. Uh, oh no, I, I think I think I get it. Those those tubes, and they keep jumping in the tubes because we keep flushing them down the toilet when they die. The fish. Yeah, so there's like their ride is riding down the toilet into the drain. I don't want to think about that. Don't Especially since posturous. one of those definitely has a U-bend. And the entrance kind of no. does look like a toilet, but it's not the really big one. Hmm. Well, maybe that's for the... Um... I, mean, I always wondered what it would be like. Well, we have time. Would you like to try out the slide? I'm not a daredevil. Honestly, I've been thinking about it. Maybe. Could be fun. What if it kills you on the way down? I I'm mean, lucky. imagine how fast you're going. You are not supposed to go faster than 35 miles an hour. You well, uh, you hear us. My... Uh, Woo! I'm still alive! <laughs> Splash from the, the top. Uh, the biggest one. Well, Lucky. it's like my friend Julio always had. God rest his soul down in that blood diamond mind. You only live once. Yeah, so we might as well day. spend our time risking our lives while we wait for this order. Exactly. Is See, that what we should do? Jonah. I'm just going to watch Richard. I'm going to stand here. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Someone's got to watch the order. Somebody's got to take bets. All right. Ah, uh, you know me. I've come back from worse. We'll see. Lauren, what do you think the odds are here? Um, I am not a betting woman, but I would say approximately 99 to 1. I'd say statistically, he's probably going to chicken out. 30%. How about we bet office hours? You take over my office hours. <laughs> Diana. If, if, he if, he, lives. if he lives, yes. I would like to say that, and I'm I'm an optimist, Diana. All right, I'll take your bet, Richard. How are Go you on, feeling then, about this with this conversation right in front of you? <laughs> he was I'm making still... bets on Leon. This is part of the conversation <laughs> yeah, I... with Diggleby. <laughs> you were making I, I bets honest... on me. They were they... a bet. I won. I I bet you'd survive. Diana did not believe as 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 much I as I'm a pessimist. You. As Jonah hinted at, I'm a pessimist. You guys are taking this all very lightly. It's gallows humor, Leon. Yes, well, once you once you've seen groups of ten of your very close schoolmates die horrifically terrible deaths at the bottom boils of hell down in the depths of the earth that no other man could ever get to. You do have to keep on the bright side. We'll go you take under, the slide then, Richard. Yeah, yeah you understand. It all that. seems, it all seems a little will. fishy to me. This is uh from somewhere behind the kitchen door. Yeah, you hear, that's hey. Good. hey, it's pretty good. They're pretty fishy. Um, Richard, they're they're pushing you. Pure pressure. Pure pressure. Uh, in hmm. fact, uh, that appears to be the name of one of the rides. Um, but. As you go well, up that to this, right there is just destiny. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, that's the question. Do you want to go on the peer pressure? It's a slide. It's not the smallest. You see full grown people going on it and they, they're having an okay time. Or your eyes are drawn <laughs> Do over I to the, the side. <laughs> There's a large wooden sign that says the Riley big plunge. That's you the know big what? one. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a power roll. <laughs> It's a 50-50 shot. If I succeed, I'll just go on the peer pressure if I fail. Well, if that's not fate, that's triple zero. (laughs) (laughs) The line is empty to the really big plunge. Sorry, the Riley big plunge. Mm. Uh, And you start to go up. It creaks under you. You can see the other four maybe looking up at you. You get to the top, and there's a very disinterested-looking fish person that looks at you. Good day, sir. Last rites. Ah, uh, hmm. Last rites, last rites. Yeah, well, I guess if I had to give everything I ever owned to anybody here, I suppose it would be Jonah. Hey, uh, I like that this- name. Ah, yes, he's a very good friend of mine. Uh, last rites, uh, give everything I ever owned to uh, Mr. Jonah Cordova. Uh, do you see them down there? Right there, I believe. Yep. Yep, there yeah, he's waiting. waiting. All right. All right. So, yes, every everything I own to him. May God have mercy on your soul. And Thank you. Just as you, he says this, he gives you a push. You do notice something, though. Maybe it's that like slow motion as you are getting pushed into this dark cylinder that, wow, that's a lot steeper than you thought. There's a symbol that looks like a fish carved at the top of this. It's very interesting, but you don't have a ton of time to think about it as you start to plunge downward. The water just makes it practically frictionless as you plummet faster and faster. And it's so dark, but you feel like you're falling through vast cities and there's something deep and slumbering nearby. You plummet past it. It's it's huge. You can like feel it outside the tube. I need you to roll sanity. Fair enough. Uh, that is a fail. <laughs> And you can't help but feel like this giant eye pierces the side. And go ahead and roll a D10. All right. One. It's looking at you. It's looking at you. But before that can fully hit, whoop, you have that bright bit of air and you're airborne and the pool's headed up towards you. Ah, there's the end. (laughs) Uh, definitely. Honestly, kind of, he kind of enjoyed it. Like, kind of how you like to get scared. Like at this point, to him, it's more of like, I've, I've lived through all of this and come back to tell the tale every single time. At this point, it's mostly, (laughs) it's kind of just like the vacation you get to go on every year. You're just used to it. Nice. Nice. Yeah, and that kind of crosses your mind of like, oh, this is better than the Blood Diamond Pit as you so splash into Blood the Diamond. water. Yeah. Not bad. I mean, all they had was a secret cult of tribals that accidentally tore out a man's heart. Accidentally. So, well, accidentally. Diggleby did kind of goad them into it. but He, he did, Igamon. Yes. And the other four of you, uh, how are you feeling? He's clearly survived. Oh, I feel I great. I don't have to do doing... office hours. I, I can't fathom doing anything like that. <laughs> Believe me, the slide will fathom every thought you have ever you've ever had. I almost fainted just watching the, the drop and following how fast the body must have been going at that time. Oh, hmm. Jonah, was any of that extreme alcohol? Uh I would say so. Yeah. I, I, I you think we yeah. could get it was definitely tanked. fermented. Um, I don't think I'd like to get tanked on whatever they're serving. How droll, sir. And you hear this. 
<laughs> and there is this giant essentially it's not a huge whale but it's a substantial whale of a cake being pushed across the uh the cobbled kind of by the lazy river as this fish man is pushing this tray wow. your cakes ah right. thank you thank you he must have muscles mm. great well done sir <laughs> and he falls in the lazy river and starts to float away <laughs> What happened? His little heart gave out. His little heart gave out, poor guy. But you wow. now have a whale-sized cake. So how are we going to haul this up to the room? What if what if the well, fish dog is We don't need the whole cake. We just need to cut off Fair a point. decent sized chunk. I'm pretty sure the guard dog will love this. Mm. Are we sure that it's a dog? No. No. We're not sure. Okay, great. Just making sure we're on the same page. And, and everyone should take a hunk of this cake for them for their own on themselves before we go. What I'm are gonna, gonna smell it. Them? What's it smell like? Fish, probably. Uh, yeah, it smells like fish. There's definitely fish mixed in there. It's not really cooked through because that's impossible on a whale sized cake. We got a fish cake. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty awful. In fact. Uh, in fact, it's make built. a con roll, just everybody. Oh, just I'm probably going to puke. Oh, God. It smells like a bouquet of flounders. I'm good. I'm not good. I'm, not I'm also good. not good. Not good at all. the team. My congestion has been so bad <laughs> that I physically cannot breathe through my nose anymore. And so I've stopped snorting and cannot smell. I've rolled a 17. I'm good. Nice. How about Richard? Perfectly fine. Okay. <laughs> So the three of you, you're you said, let's take a chunk. And no, you know, no damage, no sanity, but you you're retching like this. Oh, right, seems... into the, right into the lazy <laughs> river. Yeah, <laughs> it mixes next oh, yeah. to the waiter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this uh, waiter this... scoops some and the mixed drink pitcher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably. There's still Leon's blood circulating around slowly. It's like we're all a bunch of chums. Don't ruin later puns, damn it. You're a natural. <laughs> All I can think of right now. <laughs> um, yeah. Lauren and Richard, seems like you're the ones. So you have two big chunks of cake. The others have cakey hands. But probably that's about as far as they'll want to go. Uh, I'm going to wash my hands off in the lazy river. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm done with this. I'm so Same. done. Same. Yeah, it's gross. We got to find a way inside the room with the key, right? And then I wonder how we can get into the safe. Are there any? Well, there, the professor there might be said clues there here. Were, I did see a strange symbol at the top of the slide before I went down. Oh, let so me we guess. Just have let to... me guess. It was a fish? No, actually, it was. Of course, it was a fish, Lauren. So, do you think that there's these fish? symbols? Every Can you draw it ride? for us, Richard? Just make a fish pun. Like, clearly that's... Oh, no, Jonah might be right, actually. On if every ride. Symbol, might be a on every ride. Mm, on every oh, God. ride. Okay, I'll do the peer pressure. Yeah, you you walk by, you see some, uh, some fish clearly bullying another one into going, uh, and you get on it, and frankly, the results are rather mediocre. Although Very nice. But Any symbol though? No, no symbol. I'm oh. afraid. But uh, well, I suppose fun, that uh, you've never actually encountered a water slide since the 1920s, so Correct. it's pretty incredible at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I gotta patent this. <laughs> and you hear uh, screw a couple of the, a couple of the little kid, like the little fish people. Uh, one of them yells, oh, "Screw you guys! I'm going to the arcade!" and runs off. What is an arcade? Don't know. Well, it's a small little ch channel where, you know, you walk down it, there's flowers. Oh, yeah, let's, let's check out the more. arcade. Perhaps there could be clues leaned there. Mm -hmm. But honestly, Jonah, that's not a bad idea, you know? Take something like this, maybe have a few other attractions. 
C word. Not well, a bad stupid. idea at all. <laughs> I'm with so Leon. The name cool. sucks. <laughs> Everybody get wet. <laughs> get wet. All right. So are you're heading to follow this unhappy child. And he runs into that room that had the bright flashing lights and strange noises. And it's really baffling to someone of your time frame. There's these strange relics that seem to be showing some sort of moving picture, but at a very small scale and with bright colors, there's lots of ringing noises. There's machines that are spitting out what looks to be carnival tickets it's all very strange. Uh, wow. but most of the interest seems to be a game called Super Marsh Bros. And there are a number of these little fish kids kind of pushing each other around saying, I'm going to beat the high score. No, I'm going to beat the high score. Uh, and you can see the high score flashes and it's all DGN number, 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 like all the way down. Ah. You know, that, those Dink. initials were on the napkin that I had. Wasn't it DRL on the napkin? DRL. Oh, you're right. You're right. It was DRL. Dragons, Devil's Reef Lounge. Devil's Lounge. Reef Lodge. 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 Yep. So DR. This Dr Dagon. 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 Wait, there's no R in Dagon. <laughs> you see, peeking out from oh. behind one of the machines. Me. Little girl, hello. Hi, Mary. Oh, yes. I'm a little girl. It was Megan, Lauren. It was Molly. Sorry. Yes. Magali. At any rate, how's the searching going? Is yeah. phase two complete? No, not yet. We have the key. We need to find a, a way to get into the safe, Molly. That, I think the clues may be in the room. Might be easy. Well, oh, okay. there was a, there was a strange symbol on the top of the really big plunge. I mean, there was a red herring. Hmm. I won't acknowledge that. <laughs> now, when I looked when I looked at the carving, I assumed it was a pickering. <laughs> that could be. They're mol uh, They're her favorite fish. God, I gotta get out of here before I keep making puns. <laughs> well, no need to be I'm crabby about it. All right. Well, as long as just, you have I'm, a plan. I'm, I'm just going to clam up now. No, oh, no. You're, you're circling awful close to rich and things. Be careful. <laughs> All right. Stay incognito. <laughs> and you, I mean, you absolutely can push the kids aside if you want to take a closer and look at this. Get on my way. Well, hang on, ah, hang on, peer hang on. over them. Yeah. Wait, Let wait, me wait. see this newfangled device. Let's let's watch let's watch uh, them play first. We have no idea what this thing is. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm a man of science. All right, Terra science. <laughs> you are greeted with a uh, a little start screen. Um, you see that there's coins, little gold. Oh, coins I, I take on the, the machine. Kids. Yeah. Yeah, you, you see them in other machines, so you just kind of slot one in. And you see this weird little fish man drop into a sewer system. Oh, yeah? And there's all these little plumbers running around uh, yelling in Italian, like this little weird kind of stereo Italian. Uh, it's very strange. But make an intelligence roll. Hey, it should be easy. 67 I will spend down to get a uh, normal. Okay. So I'm spending 7 to get 60. You're kind of looking at this and you push there's a little joystick and some buttons and you you start to realize like hey this this one makes the little fishy guy jump. This one makes the little fishy guy. Well actually this is pretty this is pretty easy as you're starting to go through it and you're jumping in it. Oh, you, you can get coins and those get you things and your little score goes up. Well, this is this is really fun. Pretty good. And go ahead and yeah, make but... a dexterity roll. All right. I don't think 
making the picture move. I don't know. That is a 53 out of 50. I will spend three to get a success. Yeah, you're doing pretty good. It's a little tough, but you are succeeding. It's taking a little bit of time, unfortunately. Am I gathering just... a crowd around me? Are they cheering me on or do they want me up? Um, they want me gone. With a base success, they're just kind of like, mm, we're not that impressed. Um, and you feel like their eyes are on you and not necessarily in a great way. Like maybe you're slowly raising suspicion a little, but are you going to back out now? Hell no. Be because this there's like this bridge over water and this guy jumps down and he's, I'm Murray. Oh, and starts to stomp towards your character. Go ahead and make another dexterity. Right. Check. Well, obviously I have to jump over him. Yeah. And then grab the handgun. Yeah. <laughs> That does seem like it would have made the level a lot easier having that handgun. <laughs> I, I failed with an 80. Can I push it? You absolutely can oh, push it. Right. You're you're barely it's dodging. 50, 50. He throws oh. a hammer. Come on, Jonah. Come on. 45 out of 50. I did make it. You <sighs> barely make it. And he goes, oh, no, Mamma Mia, and Boom. falls into the water. Yeah, you shoot him. <laughs> and then the little bridge takes apart, and he falls in the water. This is a violent game. Oh. And mm. you see, you got a high score. And yeah. there is a fish that pops up. Enter your score. Wink. And you feel like, for some reason, the symbol of a winking fish might be important. Hmm, winking fish. Got it. Hmm. Holy mackerel. <laughs> yeah, I'll type in my initials. <laughs> Very nice. And I that was I'd... easy. That was with one coin. <laughs> yeah, it it is. There there's a polite amount of applause, and there's just one kid that turns to the other, like, didn't make it look easy. Am I right? I don't see you getting a high score, you little <laughs> krill. My, my guess, shown is it would probably get progressively more difficult to play as the longer you play it. Oh, probably. Mm -hmm. Well, that yeah. was fairly entertaining. Uh, Richard and Lauren, your hands are starting to stink really terribly carting around this cake. Yeah, let's go, we, go find the dog. I think fish. we need to go. Yeah. Yes. I think I'm getting hives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah something's moving in the cake oh. uh, it's best not to think about it um so you do you're able to find the door you have the key you know something's inside you can hear it shuffling around and making noises what are your what's what's your plan uh unlock the door and throw the things in and uh well, there's, Pray? there's one thing I would like to try very quickly, if that's all right with everybody. Sure. Um, I'm going to... Everybody's dream. I'm going to just politely knock on the door. Uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Guard Dog, are you in? The scream that echoes through the door pushes you back a couple feet. It's loud enough that you almost have like a little bit of tinnitus afterwards of this inhuman roar. That never works, Richard. It didn't work at the inverted pyramid and it's not working now. I yes, don't know why I'm... you keep trying that. Because I think it will. That's why it worked that one time in Egypt with the mummy. He was a very good conversationalist. Yeah, y'all wrapped up. Exactly. <laughs> we were talking till the camels came home. <laughs> but yeah, it, it seems like little guppies around. Yeah. Well, if it attacks with sound, perhaps we may need more sound to combat it. We might have to break rule number three. 
I'm not singing. No singing. <laughs> All right, fine. You do feel like that would draw a lot of attention to you. Mm. We save that as a plan C. Oh, oh we're not there yet. Did, did you just make a this, pun? No. This, this is the age of jazz. None of us have that much soul. Mm. Somebody making non-fish related puns up here? Soul? I don't know enough about fish to <laughs> know if that's a pun. Is it Soleil? I don't know. I'm gonna Google it. I, I read right. it to Let's my cat Google. Fabio sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this this alligator saying weird stuff. Um yeah, you you definitely know you can open the door. There's something there. I guess the question is what's your plan if you do open it? We throw the cake in and one person goes straight for the safe. Actually there was it. there was that one room with the lights and music coming from it, right? That one That was room? the arcade. Yeah, the where... arcade. Oh, that was the arcade. Okay. Musical numbers though, strictly forbidden. There's a mm. distinction. But okay, you I mean you have two people with cake who's throwing the cake in this scenario. Well, Lauren, since you pushed me headfirst into the pool last time, I believe uh, you should be the one to do the honors here. Uh, and oh. I kind of pushed Lauren forward to the door. Okay. Okay. Um, who has the key? Uh, I do here. And I put that in your hands. <laughs> okay. Well, you can't let a girl do it. She's, she's already terrified. Hand ah, is trembling. The key is rattling <laughs> in the thing in the door. This cake is jiggling uncomfortably. Even when her hand is still, it continues jiggling just a bit. Mm -hmm. um, I'll open the door and you toss the cake in. Okay. Okay. I, I'm much more okay with that. All, All right. right. I get behind the door where it's going to open. And... I get on the other side of the door where I can't be pushed in. I'm keeping an eye on Richard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Smart. All right, here we go. And I turn the key and I pull open the door real quick. Yeah. Thump the cake in. You throw it and there is a splat. It sounds like neither of you are looking. Is anybody looking? In I'm not room? looking. I might be looking through the crack between the door and the Yeah, I think I'm following Leon's lead and I'm squeezing myself up against the wall closest yeah. to the door once it's open. Do a do a spot hidden that you would probably rather fail those that are, uh, you know, within eyesight. Uh, I've learned I my lesson hard, in the Panamanian Mountains. I got a hard, a hard success. Uh, make a sanity check. Yeah, I did is... too. Sixty four yeah. out of forty five. Oh, okay. this time I got okay. a nineteen. Yeah, I've... I'm good on sanity. Okay, I failed sanity. The, uh... Unfortunately, okay. I passed. Uh, okay. Spot hidden. Didn't want to see that. It, it is a one on a uh, successful sanity check. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Uh, it's a really big dog, probably. And it's really chowing down on that cake. And, I'm, and it's, it's moving fast. Go, Richard. Fast. Go. Get in there. Nope. All right. All right. Fine. I'll run into the room towards the, the safe. Mm -hmm. What's it look like? Uh, it's a pretty big safe. The little dollhouse furniture did not really do it justice. It's a pretty big safe. All but right. Richard, as you run past, you run past a bed. You run past a dresser with some little pictures on it. It's kind of nice, but no time. You run to the safe. You look at it. It's got four symbols that it needs. They all appear to be fish. The whole it's just one of those like locks you click around. They're fish. They're winking. They're smiling. They're frowning. Who would make a symbol out of fish? This is stupid. Uh, we're but missing two of the pieces. You do find there is a note. It's kind of stuck to the the safe. You're able to do it. It's yeah. on this like yellow paper. Hmm. But the sounds sounds like that thing's finishing up. Make a dexterity check. All right. 
Uh, that is a 71 under 80, so that is a pass. Uh, you should probably go right now. All right, yep. I, I just grab the note, run back the door, and slam it behind me. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Well, good news. I got a note. Uh, bad news. There are two other symbols we must find that are scattered around the park, and they are in a certain order which I do not know the start and end of. Well, what's the, the note say? Well, I didn't have time to read it. I was running for my life, but I will correct this error. <laughs> yeah. And it, I put it chat. in the Zoom chat. It's in chat. the chat. Yes. In the ah. chat. Dad, I, don't believe in I know you want to remember the passcode, but you're on vacation mode. So here's some clues. Victory screen when you get a high score for Super Marsh Bros. The symbol I carved at the top of the relay big plunge. I told Albert the third symbol. He can remind you. And the mural at the bottom of the fountain. Love, Dolly. All right. So it's the winking fish, then the regular fish that I saw. Then we just have to find the other two symbols. So I suppose our next stop is Mr. Albert. And and this fountain, do you think it's a deep one? Well, that would be very shallow to assume. You do oh, remember boy. there was a there was a fountain in the lobby. It it's tough to say how deep it is. Hmm. Well, well, let's let's find well, the Leon, other clues. Well, Leon, do you feel like up to a bit of uh, swimming? I I'm still bleeding a little, but I mean, we'll see. Hopefully, the fountain's not that deep. Let's hope. But I I'm just going along with all of this. I'll uh, I'll do it just for the hell of it. Mm. It's so fitting in here sorry. too well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and in fact, yeah, he seems real fish-like. The more he's doing that, does Leon have guilt? Maybe. No. He does look a little guilty. Something to think about. Uh, so is the group heading towards the fountain at this point? It sounds like that's what I'm hearing. About, yeah. 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 The entire grouper. The, so <laughs> the party ends up next in the lobby. You see there is a lobster behind the desk, which seems appropriate. And there is a fountain there. It has four kind of pained looking carvings uh three human one very clearly puppet just out of their mouth gushing water into this pool and it really is stirring up this silt so i mean it's it's pretty big across like you can't just walk into it uh i mean it's it's at least you know 15 feet diameter and it's difficult to tell how deep it is it's very muddy and gross just brief question. Does the screaming puppet happen to look like Professor Diggleby? It... Actually, you you get close. It looks exactly like Diggleby. Hmm. But maybe a little younger? Well, I believe whatever this is, it's a very old score of the professor's. So we can't really see the bottom of the fountain while it's all. No, not really. Can we see a discoloration where we think the symbol might be? Um, well, you can't uh, make a spot hidden. Yeah. There's mechanics. Because otherwise, I'll jump in. Uh, I got a 36 out of 65. Okay. You definitely can see there's something at the center. But All you're right. also noticing that, like, it's not just a flat thing, right? Like, it's not like a carving. There's something in the middle of the fountain that doesn't really look like it's moving, just a lump. All right. Um, well, if I can lean over the edge and stick my head underwater mm -hmm. and see if I can see it. If I can't, then I'll have to get in all the way. 
Yeah, you feel like you're gonna have to get in because you you stick your head under. Uh, but everyone else what, can just only, see him go. Yeah, only a few, maybe a foot oh. deep. Oh, that would be nice. You don't even see a bottom. If you had oh. thassalophobia, that is kicking in big. Yeah, I don't. It's pretty deep. This 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 fountain's really super deep. Well, do you say that? Well, we're and then supposed there's just to see the mural at the bottom of it. <laughs> no, I, I pull my head out and say it's really deep. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not a good swimmer. Right. I just hope there's not a current because I don't want to get sucked down. I will, I will get in, and but I'm holding on to the side. Mm-hmm. And, and I will, I will. I forgot to mention something. Is your you're starting to go in, you're you're pulling onto the side. The others, maybe they're kind of watching you. They turn their head. They see that little standee. Um and it's labeled the bowl of chum. And it's one of those where you could like stick a couple faces in and it's take a picture with your chum. You think hmm. it might be the fountain. Although I'm not sure if the other forewarn you about that before you're underwater. I'm not sure I understood what you said, but. It seems uh, like this fountain's named the Bowl of Chum for what uh, it's worth. Okay. So I'm, I'm first thing I'm going to do before I move away from the edge is I'm going to do a complete circle all the way around and see if okay. there's a symbol written on the side somewhere. <laughs> uh, for a moment, you think so, maybe, but it is actually a real minnow, and it kind of flobbers off and splashes into the water and goes deeper. All right. Hold on a minnow. I mean, minute. Uh, all Memphis right, so I'm... I'm looking for a symbol anywhere. All right. Are you so you're going underwater? Are you actually swimming? Yeah. Yep. All right. Make a swim check. Well, Diana, would you like to take another bet? Oh, Jesus. I got 76 out of 60. I'll I'll spend 16 points of okay. luck to make it a actually success. <laughs> Are Lauren and Jonah exchanging bets at this point as well? Is this tradition? Oh, what can I get out of Lauren? You could you could waive the late fees for those uh, books you took out. That is a good idea, Richard. Hmm. I can uh, grade papers. I'll put in good. Oh yeah, good. you can grade some of my students' papers. Yes, there you go. And Jonah if you win, I'll we'll put in good word to uh, Dr. Armitage. Done. Done. She holds her hand <laughs> at, like uh, to the side of yours because it still has fish <laughs> stuff on it. And That's just... good. I'll <laughs> shake her wrist respectfully. <laughs> you, you know, Lorne, we are next to a bit of a spot of water. You could rinse off at least. Oh, that's that's a good idea. So I'm going to wash my uh, hands. Before you do that, you might attract <laughs> something in the water. Splash, splash, splash. Leon, we we cut down. You're going through muddy water. There's still light coming from above, but it's difficult. And you reach finally the bottom. It is bowl shaped, so you kind of have to follow it down. And you do see that there appears to be a kind of stone circle at the bottom where there's probably a, a symbol of some kind. You see a little tail fin. But and this is very confusing. There is a small green child in a little sailor uniform asleep at the bottom of this pool. And its face turns a little like it's asleep. And you black out for a second underwater and make a sanity check. Oh, I passed the sanity just barely. Okay, take a D4. One. Okay, yeah. This is, this is, yeah, that child has a very moving face, but it appears to be asleep. 
it, it's definitely a sleep and it really right. you want it to stay that way something okay. deep in your core is telling you this wake up the babe the child is the child laying on the symbol it is yeah and you hear distantly a splash 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 and a few nostrils on its head just kind of inhale it's not awake but it's licking all of its mouths um well i'm going to try to see the symbol and then get away as quickly as possible can i see enough of the symbol that i can tell which click it would be you're probably going to have to move the kid All right, let's see how I will do this. Have I noticed yet that I don't seem to be gasping for breath? Uh, you're a pretty good swimmer. I'm sure you're just holding your breath. Yeah, yeah. you passed. Yeah. It's been, what, 10 minutes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're very um, good at holding your breath. <sighs> I'm going to... And it looks like a uh, when you say like a kid, what what size yeah. kid? A boob, maybe An age five or six, pretty small. Five five or six year old. Yeah, hair. Oh boy, you wouldn't call that hair. Whatever okay. it is, you don't want to look at it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You almost did, and it it hurt. Well. It's gently sleeping. Sometimes you can touch people that are sleeping and they don't wake up. Um, I am going to try to gently move okay. it just enough, moving very slowly and carefully. Um, okay. And gently set it back. I mean, I'm not lifting it all the way yeah. up. I just need to see the symbol. Yeah. Make a... Uh... Dexterity roll. I think that's or your swim, whichever is better. Oh, oh five. Excellent. Nice. Yeah. How do you that's... carefully lift this small sleeping? Well, you said angel. a child, so I'm still thinking a child. Yeah, yeah. Um mm -hmm. just sort of, you know, one hand. Does it have fins like a like a mermaid baby? Oh, it's yeah, it's got a lot of fins. Okay, I'll I'll just put one hand under one part and one under the other, and then just where it's where it's got its weight on the ground, and just yeah. just move it a few inches, and then set it carefully back down. You think as you move this, you would not be able to move him. If he was not underwater, he is incredibly heavy and you actually feel, I don't know, like you were hauling a skyscraper across the bottom of this pool. It feels deeply wrong, but okay. you, uh, you got a one on your sanity. It's fine. And you see that there is a smiling fish underneath. Smiling it's, it's, fish. It looks so. like it's given like a little fin up. I'm going to move gently away from it and then push off the bottom as hard as I can and try to vault up and out of the water, you know, like a dolphin. Yeah, yeah. Make a make another swim check just for kicks and giggles. 28 out of 60. So wonderful. That's that's, that's what you want. Life. You splash out and once again. You see your teammates, half of them win, half of them lose. Right. I, I have my papers taken care of. I did not take that. God damn it. Yes. Great work, Leon. I mean, Always you're a great win. guy. Great work, Leon. How much did you win? Oh, I don't have to grade my students' papers. I want a dollar. Did you bet with yourself? 
<laughs> Me? Moving on. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to figure out. I'm just trying to figure out what I can get out of you before I tell you what the answer is. A dollar. <laughs> Apparently a dollar. That's a good amount there's... of money. How about a trip back home? Ooh. That is much better than a dollar. I suppose. You all owe me. You actually owe me twice. Well, we, I'll, I'll owe you two dollars. Fine. Fucking A. Let's get out of here, please. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you think we can force that last symbol? Since we have all three answers out of four. Well, how many how many symbols oh, were there yeah. in each well, one? Well, there were four symbols. We have three. If the order's right, yeah. it was the regular fish, the winking fish, and now the smiling fish. So the only answer for the fourth one must be the frowning fish. Because yeah, I don't think we're going to get the answer out of Albert. Well, actually, have we who's, even seen this Albert fellow? Who's Albert? I don't know. Oh, it, it was mentioned in this sticky note here. Oh, God. <laughs> Is he a Tony? Uh, Tony? Hey. You called. Ah, Somebody detective. looking for Al. It is Albert. Yeah. Yep. I'm Albert. Albert the alligator. Yep. I'm an investigator. Very nice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a second to get the ch- <laughs> Albert. Yeah. Did you have a conversation with a friend of ours? Not that long ago. Um, no, I uh, remembered my accent. Oh, good, good. No, uh, unless you are friends with Diggleby. Diggleby. Damn his name. Diggle who? We're friends with Dolly. Yes, Dolly. Dolly. Oh, the missus. Her. Yes, of mm. course. Yes, I talked with her. Uh, well, well you I see, think you have some information we might need. Yes, Mr. Dagon asked us to uh, grab something from his quarters. Uh, we were just wondering. Uh, we were looking through. He, he said he needed something from his uh, safe. And when we looked, mm. there was a combination. And, well, when we asked him to go f- to go get it... Well, he was asleep on the lazy river, enjoying some mixed drinks. We didn't want to disturb him any further. Uh, but we found this note, and it says that you know part of the combination. I do, perhaps. Make me a persuade roll, please. All right. I don't even need to risk this. <laughs> Uh, I'd say on I'll, a scale of one to ten, I'll spend eight points of luck to bad. make that as extreme. Extreme, Ooh. I mean. You know what? Suspicion around here is very low. You're keeping under the radar, maybe. I still don't fully trust you, but yes, fine. Thank I will you. tell you. Dolly said the third symbol was. Sad fish. Ah. Much frown. Well, thank you. Tell Dolly to visit once in a while, okay? I don't care about that deadbeat, but her dad misses her. Hmm. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. Well, we'll be sure. Before I go, one more thing. Yes, of course. He turns towards Diana. Give me pun. Oh, she she tends to clam up around strangers. Don't mind her. It's fine. Just because you hang with fish does not make you fish. I don't do puns for the halibut. Sorry. No, oh, no, oh, it's a thinker. <laughs> and he just kind of steps into the pool of chum and sinks under the water. Hey, there's a log in the water. Isn't that crazy? Uh-huh. But you now you now have all four combination codes. All right. 
Well, if we need any more of the whale cake, I believe it's still next to the pools. Well, we have one more piece. Yeah, mm-hmm. someone never threw theirs. Richard yes, still true. has his. <laughs> I you guess put it in your bag in my pocket for safekeeping. <laughs> it's in. It's been marinating in your back pocket. <laughs> there is a like grease dripping stain. down your yeah. leg. <laughs> 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 It ah, drips so into it this went. fountain, and there's this <laughs> stirring underneath. Oh, God, you hear? <laughs> As uh, the log disappears. It's crazy. What? It's just whale cake. <laughs> hmm. uh, there's a thrashing. It's very concerning, but yeah, don't worry about it. Green boy. Honestly, Let's some go. people just make mackerel out of molehills. Well, let's go then. Ah, yes. Sure, Macaulay, Hello. Lisa. Thank you, sister. How am I doing? I think I'm pulling it off. You're sure, doing yeah, very fine. well. Great. Let's go. Mm, yes. <laughs> and uh, you are up by the room once more. All right. What? So, Lauren? Same plan as last time. You throw the cake. He, Leon opens the door. I run in, get the combination in the safe, grab whatever we need from the safe. We exit. And that's all I've got. What? Perfect. All right. He's a whale cake. <laughs> and the plan works beautifully as last time you throw it we'll let the sanity rolls right it's just a big dog a lot of teeth again uh kind of slimy not good not good uh richard you run in and you're ticking these in yep winky regular frowny one of them's giving you a thumbs up for the last one things are looking good and you open it up and there within is the greatest treasure you've ever seen in your life. A mounted, glittering, <sighs> golden fish. My it looks like it God. is not at all solid gold, but it's glittery, and that's got to be worth something. This has to be the... This must be the greatest thing ever created by Cod. And make a dexterity check. Ah, uh, that's a fail. 82 over 80. You're holding this up. You see it. It's uh, it's pretty fantastic. And you hear this lurch and a thump, 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 thump. And you realize you're not smelling cake as much as you did a second ago. Uh, would you make oh, a Oh dear, dodge? I spent too long ogling. Yes, would you make a dodge check? Uh, that is a pass, 28 under 40. All right. Um, the wall next to you smashes. And well, it's... time to go. You know, Peek my head in the door. Richard, get your bass out of there. <laughs> I'm going as fast as my fins will carry me. <laughs> and as you are running with this, you hear deep within the hotel you don't know where it's coming from it's this music echoing through the fish down in the lobby are looking at each other with panic in their eyes Hmm. and the fish turns to you don't worry and would you believe that everyone starts singing? See, and I told bass. you rule number three would be would be coming in handy. It's time to get out of here. We gotta run. We gotta get the hell out of here. We gotta get here. to the boat. Yeah, and you're starting to see people rushing towards you. And yeah. It's going to be a run, so let's go into dexterity order. As right. you are in this hallway, you start hearing people go. You're hearing this guy going. He's just singing along. If you can imagine it underlying the whole run. 
what are let's see we got a I have 80 dexterity that's right you were crazy fast yo i'm very quick 60 yeah mine's 50 50 65 uh, 65 for Diana and 60 for Lauren. In that case, Richard, you are up first. You're in the hallway. You've beat, it looks like, these uh, kind of generic Brutuses that are running around. I'm just running full speed down to the docks, carrying the fish, carrying the golden fish over my head. Okay. Uh, make a dexterity check. Oh nine, that is, or sorry, oh six. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> and you feel like maybe you're ticking some sort of competitive clock as you are just blazing downstairs out there. You see, there's a boat, uh, just like Diggleby said. And the strangest thing, there is a shell on the driver's seat. We Mollusk. Burn. Yeah. And we'll go over to Diana. Diana, what are you doing? I'm I am also running and questioning all of the choices that got me to this point in my life. But yes, uh, I'm running. All right. If you are running, that sounds like another dexterity check. Uh, that's an 11, which is an extreme. Very good. And you are then, in that case, you're hot on the heels of Richard, and you just see this snail going, yeah. <laughs> mm. And it looks like he's popping out of his shell slowly. Let's go. Uh, doesn't seem like it'll be too fast. Uh, Lauren. Uh, Lauren straightens her cardigan over her black tactical turtleneck and is bolting right after Diana. And I rolled an ought nine, which is also an extreme on dexterity. Incredible. It is time to get the fin out of here. I think we're now understanding why you survived your previous encounters. That's why I let people go in the doors. Like everyone wants to prove themselves. I and get that's, home. yeah, that's about the, about the right time. Lauren, you bolt out of there. Jonah and Leon though, you see a couple of these big guys they're in the hallway and they're coming towards you. Looks like they're going to take a swing at you. Uh, one on oh. each. Go ahead and do a dix, uh, a dodge check. Or a fight back. Uh, you are welcome to do either. I'm oh. to dodge. 72, not even close. Actually, I'm going to fight back. Oh. I'm, I need to, I'm cashing out on all these bets. I got to go. I got to go. 42 out of 45. I can spend down if I need to. Okay, no, that is enough because both of them completely whiff. And they, th yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go ahead and... Uh, I've got papers to grade or not just, grade. Yeah, you just kind of clobber the hell out of him. And he That's right. If Jonah dies, I don't have to grade papers. <laughs> also true. And uh, yeah, Leon, you're feeling, you're feeling great. Like you're dodging these guys left and right. But unfortunately, Jonah, it's your turn. Uh, okay, so after I finish uppercutting one of the the henchmen i mean the hench fish mm -hmm, i mm -hmm. rush down the stairs and get out the door right yeah it's not that far to the docks you can see this uh this so we, boat is there is that through the water park or is it, it just... sure is yeah yeah you can you kind of cut through it over can i docks. expedite my my escape by hopping on a surfboard <laughs> you absolutely can roll Damn a straight. dexterity check All right. for me damm why didn't i think of that uh hard hard success? that's what you want is you glide I'm across here. this pool <sighs> yeah <laughs> very nice and leon what are you doing i failed miserably oh no there's a sound from the pool. You won't all get so lucky as uh, it looks like uh, Albert is crawling out of the water and is coming towards you at this point. We'll go back around. Uh, actually, uh, Leon, that was a failed dexterity, I assume. That's correct. I got yeah, 82 yeah. out of wonderful out of 22. <laughs> you spend down. <laughs> 
40 points. Don't worry. Wow. You don't need it. I don't have I'm 40 the points. Water. Yeah. All right. Then we are back up to Richard. I think Diana kind of sees Richard. Richard's eyes widen a bit as the goldfish is singing, but there was mm-hmm. a musical score happening a little before that a mm-hmm. couple of times throughout this whole thing. And that gets the gears in his mind worrying. He is a psychology student after all. If he can find a loophole, there will be one. He looks, I, I'll look over to Diana and I'll toss her the fish. <laughs> I have an idea to get us out of here completely scot free. Keep we'll running to the time. boat. All right. If and we all is... die, you owe me one. <laughs> I can't owe you anything if I'm dead. <laughs> Where are you running, Richard? I'm going to run a little back towards the start of the dock. Okay. Everybody, hold it. Hold everything. Oh, I I know you have a decent charm, so go ahead and roll charm. All right. Let's see if you have the star power to pull this off. Uh, That is a 40 under 60. I will spend the 10 luck if I need any any better. That's probably a good, because it's a catchy beat. And in fact, in Diana's arms, the fish stops and then flops back and it's quiet. For a second. There has been four simple rules of this park. No running by the pool. You must check out by 11 a.m. I forget the fourth one, but (laughs) there is a very third specific. No Diggleby. That's the fourth. But there is a very specific third rule. No musical numbers. Correct. Rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. They appear to be talking themselves. Yeah, yeah, that's right. There is no musical. This is this is terrible. A musical we number wake him does up? not. A musical number does not necessarily need words to be considered a musical number. And there's only one person here who has their very own theme song, Mister Dagon. What? Well. Every time you come around, there's a da 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 da. Whenever you're around, is that not is that not a musical cue? One moment. You watch. You're a psychologist. The others can't see anything behind those dark eyes have you ever seen a shark's worldview shattered (laughs) you've been breaking the rules of your own park this whole time Uh, uh, and if there are no rules there is only anarchy and if you will not follow your own rule in a land you govern then anarchy it shall be, my good sir. You are, you are correct. Wake him. Wake him. Uh, and there's this echoing scream. Wake him. Leon, you can see the bowl of chum start to writhe and move. I will admit it's a good argument. I think the outcome may not be what you prefer as you are starting to see the inn fall apart behind you and the docks are shaking. Hmm. You know, I would think that would just get them to stop chasing, which I suppose it did. I'd best get to the boat and. <laughs> yes, yeah, I just Diana. We're all waving at running. you from the boat. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Diana. Oh, I'm still running. <laughs> running, running for the boat. Yep. Okay, you're in the, the boat. You're in the boat. The rules. You're in the okay. boat. You've got the fish. Is there anything you'd like to do to help aid the escape? 
Don't worry. <laughs> Just gotta remember which one the gas is. Yeah, let's get the boat going. We are ready to go as soon as Richard gets on this damn boat. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's not that tough to get a boat. Yeah. The snail's trying to follow you as you're moving around. Uh, Lauren, are you helping with that by any chance? Yes, I'm also not raiding for Richard. As soon as I get onto the boat, I am casting the rope off, trying to pull the <laughs> engine and getting it going. It's Lauren, I see you there. You better stop. There's a reason Diana and I have survived. <laughs> and it's not because wait, of bravery. Wait for me! <laughs> you, you can't see, leave the professor behind. Uh, the hat flies off. Oh. I think I'll, <laughs> I'll try to pick up the... Yeah, I'll pick up the professor as we're running. I'm running with Diggleby. Thank you! Uh, and you see like oh, no he's kind of like standing on the back of the boat. Go, 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 go. Uh, it appears the professor is ready to go as well. Uh, I'll say next turn the boat can go to give people a swimming chance. Leon, all around you is violence. You're running through this, and it's it's horrible. They're just falling apart on each other. Behind you, the waters are rising up as something huge, and somehow, and still in a very tiny sailor outfit, is rising from the water speaking these dark words that hurt your brain make a sanity roll oh 65 that is no longer viable yeah roll a thank you I could, a can i spend luck it's been luck right? on a sanity check i don't think you can only in pulp, you can't. i think yeah only no. in pulp, uh, yeah. okay yeah uh right. roll a d10 10. And then add three. And and three. 13. Okay. Okay. 13. What's this look like for Leon as the word Cthulhu just is imprinted upon your brain and you can feel this wave of a new way of living just emanating from it. Madness and violence there within puppets tearing into puppets stuffing everywhere i don't know you said everything's going on around me so i'm oh, probably no. having to fight my way forward yeah uh so i sucker punch this guy and I, and <laughs> yeah. okay i give this I like guy that. a left hook <laughs> make a make a fighting brawl roll then to to see how you get out of here let's see hopefully i'll get a really good roll I'm hopeful for you too. By the time I got a 92, that wasn't a <gasps> fluke. <laughs> okay. That damn fin of yours keeps getting in the way. <laughs> yeah. Stop, stop, he's one of us. Uh, and then you see the alligator get kicked. Oh, I'm going to uh, hop on. Hop on. I'm going to try to dive oh. forward. And... I forgot you should take a D4 of damage from the fighting. Are you still alive, friend? I got a four. Uh, oh. oh. One, two, three, four. I got two points left. Oh. Don't worry. When I looked back in the sand, there will be four sets of footprints because I'm carrying you. And uh, Leon, Albert just grabs you in his jaws and it looks like he's making a break for the water. Tom's makes for stretch bud fools. He, he's having trouble talking because you're in his jaws. Uh, Jonah. Yep. What are you doing? I'm going for the boat. Okay, you're in the boat. Diggleby's on board. He's saying, go, go, go. Uh, you see a crocodile. No, that's no crocodile. That's an alligator. Just peel out with Leon, bleeding, badly hurt. Uh, What's a what kind of insanity do you think Leon got from seeing this full blast? What's what's his deal now? Oh, me? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. All I know is I'm going to need a sturgeon. I mean, a surgeon to. Uh, I think that's going to be your bout of badness, and it will be yeah. indefinite. 
in uh, uh, yeah ceaseless uh fish yes wonderful yeah jonah that's what you're seeing you're seeing this alligator run with leon I, there's no do? way i can help we i gotta speed up this boat um <laughs> mr slug go faster <laughs> make a persuade that's how well if you're just talking to him yeah of course okay, I'll, I'll put on my teacher voice teacher why well, uh, up jonah holy fuck oh <laughs> two i'll spend one down again one oh. you want a good grade don't you I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Well, you better move your shell. And he just straight up hops down <laughs> onto the gas. Jonah, don't be what? so shellfish. <laughs> Does and he just floor it? Yeah, he's flooring All right. it. I'm moving I will on for dear life. Yes, I will say that the other four, you're on the boat. You see Leon and Albert running towards you. Are you trying to help? Or are you leaving him to a watery demise? Yeah, toss a rope. I'll toss him the rope, yeah. They're chum in the water. <laughs> uh, make a, If the both of you are doing it, I'm going to give you a athletics throw, some kind of roll to just get it to him. Yeah, throws it base, so good luck. But you both get to make it. That's like advantage, right? True. Who's Can throwing you? it with me? Jonah, I think. Jonah's. Oh, doing I'm it. hanging on. <laughs> <laughs> I am also hanging on. Oh, is yeah. Richard helping? All right. Never I am, mind. I'm I'm hanging on to Diggleby and the boat. <laughs> Diana, throw the rope. I will spend the two <laughs> luck. Wow. It's not oh, worth yes. it. No, don't worry. <laughs> <It's not> wow. <laughs> I rolled a 22 and base throw is 20. Excellent. Excellent. The rope lands. Leon, you can grab it. It's going to hurt. But yeah, you can grab on. And very cinematically, the boat peels out. You feel like you've maybe filled some kind of clock before. And behind you, the inn is collapsing as this mass rises out of it. And Diggleby, for just a moment, is bounced off the back. But he lands on Albert. And going to be honest, you guys hit a ramp and you do a pretty sick jump over a shark. And you feel like someday maybe they'll put that in a TV show or something. As credits start to roll as the boat goes out. Why are the there words falling from the sky? They're rising from the ocean. <laughs> Where are oh, they God. going? Oh, oh God. You're gonna you're gonna run into them. And uh the snail turns to you. You never had it. You never even had your own car. Anybody anybody else like those movies? It's going on. Fan. Okay, never mind. I'm just going just, to scream you, and clutch my head. You yeah, just this, this bust getting... through the the letters and they dissipate into smoke, like so many, so many monsters in the world. And the five of you wake up in an inn, and your backs hurt. You're down some sanity, but you feel like you've accomplished something. Get the hell uh, out of here. It's a bus I'm fixed. leaving. I will nothing walk like, home. Nothing like another adventure with the professor. Oh, that's right. There's a letter there. Because, of course, there is. Mm. It's from Dingleby. And Very it nice. reads... Oh, yeah. 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 Pop it on. Dearest friends, thank you for collecting my anniversary gift for my dear... Dear wife, Dolly, Dr. Dolly Dinosaur Dagon Diggleby, much love. See you soon. Professor Diggleby, Esquire. Abalone. <laughs> wow. Well, you know what they say, all's shell that ends shell. I'm leaving. 
I'm walking home. I'll see I'm gonna you guys go get back a peanut school. butter and jellyfish yeah, I, sandwich. I immediately leave the room. <laughs> and that is the end but of I the great nice, Smith caper. Yeah. I got a nice sweater. Next time I see that up and I'm going to punt it. <laughs> I think as Richard's leaving, he's just humming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For talking. <laughs> it does kind of stick in your head. Mm. Yeah. Very nice. Can't stop saying these puns. <laughs> oh god. Did we catch did we catch everything, Nathan, or was there I, anything? I guess? think you did. Um it was entirely just to get um Dolly's like uh childhood toy for good old anniversary present. But uh no, I think you, you solved it quite well and you had good solutions. And and nothing slipped through the net. Right time. <laughs> <laughs> We had a whale at the time. You know what? Not enough flashbacks. That's... We only did have the one. Yep. It is it is a sanity drain. But, mm. but no, that's <laughs> uh that's about it. All right. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Crazy. <laughs> Can't believe I got a pun out of Holly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the Jesus. last time you'll ever get one out of I don't know if I... <laughs> <laughs> and if we catch everything, felt kind of unintentionally punny. Oh, I'm just saying, you might have slipped up in Cape 2. Oh, felt. Nice. Don't punish her anymore. Then, yeah. Excuse me while I go kill myself right now. <laughs> oh, no, no, please, don't krill yourself. <laughs> yeah. You have so much to swim for. Demonetized. <laughs> Demolistized. Demo- oh, no. Demolistized. Our players included Dr. Lex Hurley, Connor McQueen, Holly Buto, Alex Sun, and myself, with Nathan Decker as the Keeper of Arcane Lore. We have a Discord server where you can chat with other members, you can set up private games, and you can learn the finer arts of gameplay and game mastering. We provide audio-only versions of our shows free for you to download from Podbean, Spotify, or iTunes. If you'd like to help support our show, please visit the Patreon link in the description, or if you prefer, you can hit the Super Thanks button just below the video. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and punch the bell icon for updates on our latest shows. And leave us some comments. We enjoy reading them and answer any questions you might have. This is Tom Rayleigh, together with all the members of our gaming club, inviting you to journey with us once again into the darkness for another adventure into the universe of H.P. Lovecraft and the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. Until next time, good luck, good gaming.